guys welcome back to the prep series we are seven weeks out now which is so crazy but i'm about to head to the gym and do my cardio i just took my ring night thought burner and i'm going to have my two shots of espresso my coach has me doing this just to kind of kickstart my digestion and it has definitely been helping as we're getting lower food but if you know me you know that i don't like it only two ounces though so i just chug it but juice it doesn't get better Whew. so i'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating today because my plan has changed from my coach and we are now on six meals so i have two sessions of cardio a day now so before i was doing six times a week 45 minutes now i'm doing 45 minutes a.m and 25 minutes p.m six days a week so I'm about to go do my AM cardio. It is almost 10 AM and um, I've really, really been trying to prioritize sleep. That's something I struggle with. I feel like it's hard for me to like turn my brain off and get to bed. So I went to bed later than I would have liked. So I made sure to sleep in this morning because I didn't have anything that I needed to do specifically in the morning, which was amazing. So yeah, definitely a later start to the day than I'm used to. But I, since I have six meals now instead of five, I'm eating my first meal before I go do my AM cardio. So my coach doesn't care if my cardio is fasted or not. And I would rather get this meal in so that I'm not eating at 11 p.m. tonight. Because I do have to space out my meals like two and a half, three hours apart. So I'm going to eat this meal, go do my cardio, come back, have another meal. But I want to show you guys what my meals look like now. So this first meal, one whole pasture raised egg and whey protein isolate. So I get a lot of questions about why I do whey protein. Um, it's not like a whole food. And honestly, knowing my coach, this typically would be one whole egg and egg whites, but my body has been hating egg whites. Like it just tears up my digestion. So um, I don't respond well to them right now. I wish I did because I honestly have been enjoying them recently, like the way I was cooking them, but they just don't sit well in my body. So he has me doing the one whole egg and then um, whey protein isolate. And I'm only having that about once a day and then post-workout. So in my later meals for things that would usually be egg whites as like a lean protein source, he switched me to fish. So I've been doing tilapia for that. So that is why I have whey protein isolate for the people that were asking and not like egg whites. All right, so this is my meal one. So we have the one whole egg and then my whey protein isolate. So I'm gonna eat this and then head to the Stairmaster and get session one out of two done for cardio. All right, so 45 minutes of cardio is done. It really wasn't bad today, which is great. It's been feeling kind of tough. Um, so we have quads today. So I'm gonna get in a few more meals before I go and train. And then I will do my 25 minutes cardio post-workout. So I have some steak from Costco, of course, you guys know the drill, they have the best steak. Um, I've been loving this way more than ground beef, so I love that my coach is letting me have sirloin. It's the same thing, it's just not ground up. So that was my meal too, it's going to be a steak. So I just season it with, I've been doing the same thing that I have been doing the rest, like this whole prep, is I season it with the Kinder's like garlic salt. I love this stuff. Um, so it has the sea salt in it, and then I throw a little bit of pepper on it. And I throw it in the air fryer because time efficient. All right, meal two, we have my sirloin steak and I throw a little bit of avocado cilantro sauce on it and then green beans. Also, you guys know that I love a good Dr. Pepper Zero. So I went to Publix and I was looking for the creamy coconut one that they just came out with. And I tried it last night. It is so good. So I'm gonna have that with this meal. <laughs> All right, meal three, I have my white fish and rice and almond butter. So I've been doing tilapia. I just get my frozen tilapia from Costco. So I'm gonna prep that. It doesn't take too long to cook. And then eat that. And then we have glutes and hammies today because it is Monday. Let's prep that. So for my fish too, I've been doing the same Kinder's caramelized onion butter and then just a little bit of garlic.
All right, so the next meal is the tilapia and the rice and the almond butter. So I have my rice here. So I have 80 grams. So this is a low carb day. I'm following low carb days until Wednesday, and then I'll check in with my coach again. Um, and then on a high day, that day, just trying to pull me down a little bit more into a deficit as we get closer and closer. But my low days are a little bit higher than they were last week, so that's awesome. And then I have 130 grams of the tilapia. So he did switch me to white fish for some of my meals rather than um, chicken, just because it's a little bit lighter, a little bit leaner. So that is what I will be having more and more in my plan. And then 12 grams of almond butter. I always get the Costco one because it's the only ingredient is almonds. And a lot of these have like added sugars and oils, but this sounds crazy, but I honestly enjoy this now. So this is my pre-meal and my meal three, and then I will go hit the gym in about an hour after this, after all this digest. All right, we made it to the gym. It is time to hit some glutes and hammies. So I did have a high day yesterday, so I am feeling a little bit more energized today. So I feel like we're gonna get a good pump, a good lift, be able to move a lot of weight. So I'm excited, but let's run inside and get this done. So my food is coming down, so I definitely need some energy. So I'm gonna fuel up with a scoop of the pre from Green Menu before we get going. So I start out with a set of abductors just to get everything warm and get some blood flow to the glutes. So we're gonna start off with three sets of 15. Let's do it. And then my next movement that is also somewhat of a warm-up that I like to do is adductors. So I just flip these around and do some adductors. So I'm gonna do, again, two warm-up sets and then three working sets. All my reps for these, since it's an accessory movement, are around like 15 reps, but I'm really just going to failure. So next is my first real compound movement. So I hop on the Arsenal leg press and I do sumo leg press. So my rep ranges are a little bit higher than they would be in the off season. So I'm doing around 12 to 15 to failures. So I'm gonna do three working sets and again, one warm up set before that, just to kind of prime and get as much blood flow to the area as possible. So when I'm doing my working sets on here, I make sure that my feet are high and wide up on the platform and I'm driving through my heels. So that's what lets me connect more to my hamstrings and my glutes rather than having my quads take over, right? Because your quads are always stronger typically than your hamstrings.
So next up, I move over to a hip thrust movement. So today I'm on the booty builder and I keep my heavy hip thrust sets to my balloon hammy days. So I'm not doing any intensifiers, drop sets, something like that straight to failure, staying within like the 12 to 15 rep range and going a little bit heavier. So moving on to the accessory movements to touch up some upper glute, I do some normal kickbacks on the cables. So on my quad day, I will do a medial glute focus, but these are just normal straight kickbacks that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do three sets of 15 here. movement on my glute and hammy day is the seated hamstring curl. So I do this just to finish out my hamstrings. So I'm going to do three sets of 12 to 15 to failure here to round out this glute and hamstring day. So I just finished up legs, I just got back and I had my post training shake, which is the same thing that has been that whey protein isolate and my creatine thrown in here for the day. And I am about to prep my post meal, which is a little bit, I get um, 30 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of chicken and 110 grams of green beans. So I'm gonna prep that. But today's training was good. Um, it was very tough. I really hit a wall. Obviously my food is getting really low and I'm, I'm really feeling it. But even my coach was there at the gym and he was like, are you like alive right now? I didn't feel like it. I really was um, just super tired. I didn't know how I was going to get to the lift, but I did. I always do, you know? Um, and then I have my 25 minutes on the stairs just to finish out my 70 minutes of cardio today. And then I hit some abs excited to get this meal in me, but we're going to keep plugging away. This is the part where it gets really tough, but I love this and I'm embracing the hard. If it was easy, then everybody would do it, right? So I'm um, still plugging away and yeah, it's definitely paying off. I'm seeing changes and yeah, I'm going to prep this cream of rice, get some food. So I have my chicken and green beans and my cream of rice for my carbs. So I'm doing the same thing. I throw on my coconut aminos on top of the chicken. It gives it like that soy sauce flavor. Love that. And then a little bit of the avocado cilantro. And then for the cream of rice, I know it's a crazy combination, but I love to throw on my cinnamon and sugar-free syrup because I'm not getting carbs in the morning anymore. So I don't get it my oats like I have been. So I just throw it in this meal. Give me my little sweet treat for the day. But yeah, that is meal number four. So it is now 8.06. I just got finished posing with my posing coach. She is 
the best. And now I'm heating up my meal five of the day. So we have 130 grams of white fish. I do tilapia and then 75 grams of green beans. So I do the same thing with this that I do to the chicken. So I've been doing the coconut minos and then I throw on a little bit of this avocado cilantro. So this is what we have for meal number five. So this is my second to last meal of the day. Um, but yeah, posing went really well. I've been posing about once a week with this coach. She's awesome. She poses some of the top Olympians and I really wanted to step up my game in every aspect this year since this will be my first time going to a national show and attempting to get my pro card. So posing is a huge part of that. All the girls are really dialed in. It is very competitive. So I want to make sure that there's nothing left on the table. So we've been dialing that in. I've been practicing that often. So yeah, but I'm going to eat this and then we will, I will see you for the next meal. <laughs> okay. Last meal of the day is supposed to be fish, almond butter and green beans, but I was talking to my coach and I'm going to try the egg whites again. So like I told you earlier, Egg whites were not digesting well, but sometimes when you get deeper into prep, your body starts digesting things a little bit differently. So we're going to try that. And I brought out my waffle maker. So this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. So I have 270 grams of egg whites. I'm going to measure that out and then froth them up so that they get a little bit fluffier. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Okay, this is the consistency that I froth them to. So they're almost like scoopable. I'm gonna throw them in here. Oh. So that didn't work. <laughs> All right. All right, so I tried, that did not work. So we're going back to the tried and true. I go ahead 270 grams. And then same thing, I'm gonna froth it up so that it's like a scoopable consistency so that it gets a little bit fluffy and it's not just like an omelet. And then I just take my egg whites and I throw them in the pan. But first I have my 75 grams of green beans. So I'm gonna throw on my garlic salt and eat these first so that I'm not eating it with the pancake. And then I have 16 grams of almond butter to throw on top of that. So I'm gonna throw that right on top of the egg whites. And then the two most important things that make it actually taste like a pancake, maybe because I'm on prep, but cinnamon and sugar-free syrup. So I'm just gonna throw that right on top as well. So this will be my sixth and final meal of the day. So that will conclude my full day of eating at seven weeks out. So we'll see you guys in the next prep series episode. All right.